What's up, gang? Welcome back to Trenches Politics TV. We know you're definitely politicking from the trenches. Make sure you get them likes up and share the video. Let's go. We back. All right. What we're reacting to, uh, I, I know I said I didn't really want to touch on Diddy situation right now too much because it's too much bashing and shaming Diddy. And my biggest point is, even if the man is guilty, like, he's still a human being, just like all the other people that you're saying that he was. I'm just saying it, it don't seem like it's the biggest crime on earth that we should be focusing on right now in the time during election. And also, uh, it just seems like it just seems like if Diddy was doing all this right, he had to learn it from somebody bigger and up and higher than him. You feel what I'm saying? So where did he get it from? You feel what I'm saying? Why ain't they sitting in a jail cell right next to him? You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, let's, get, let's, let's react to this, though. Amazon pulls... Kim Porter's number one best-selling book off the shelf. We're going to figure out why. But, uh, and after that, we're going we're gonna to see what, uh, well, the Art of Dialogue had, had done an interview with the, the, uh, the, the author. Art of Dialogue did an interview with the author, and they pretty much asked him what it was their concerns and what they think about that. So we're going to see what they got to say about it, too. But make sure y'all get them likes and let's go. We got to support each other, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But uh, the independent publisher is Todd Christopher Goose, who goes by the name Chris Todd and defines his occupation as an investigative producer, author, and journalist. Todd told the Associated Press in a phone interview in September that sources very close to Kim and Sean Combs provided him with a flash drive, documents, and tapes from Porter that he eventually pieced together to create the memory. A lot of y'all don't know what Mimir is. Retail, what it is. I mean, Mimir is in a, a Mimir is any nonfiction narrative writing based on the author's personal memories. The assertions made in the work are thus understanding. It's to their understanding. Pretty much, is memories of a. It's pretty much a book that was written of memories of a person. Uh, thoughts and everything to their own understanding so it could be off their understanding of what their opinion what they base and a lot of that shit don't even gotta be true you know what I'm saying it could just be from what they saying it is because they was mad at the moment and she's dead at the moment so how will we ever know it's true especially if, the, if her own kids are saying this a lot you feel what I'm saying so who are we to blame who, I mean, who are we to judge but uh this shit was crazy how they put the 1-800 line out there for Diddy and and it's crazy that they did this shit. They doing all this crazy shit. Uh, so, what I was trying to say is they put the one when they underline out there for Diddy. I seen it. They put like a, a viral post that was going on on um, Instagram where anybody could just reach out and say that Diddy assaulted him or sexually assaulted him, whatever. And now he got 120 new alleged victims that came forward. It's just sad. Like, damn. Like, they going. It's like. Don't you don't be already see that he's guilty. How much more are y'all trying to make him be guilty of? Like it don't make no sense. If y'all coming at him like this, I'm pretty sure the man ain't fuck everybody in the world. So what's the fuck? Like this seems like just anybody come forward and get some money now. And y'all trying to get it because y'all see that he's willing to pay. Especially how he paid Cassie. That's what really fucked him over. You feel what I'm saying? I'ma keep saying that shit. But uh last week Sean Diddy Combs issued a statement from prison calling the book a fake. So he called the book a fake. The 54-year-old music mogul and father of seven was arrested on September 16 and indicted on charges of sex trafficking and racketeering and transportation to engage in prostitution. Despite having pleaded not guilty to the charges, he's been denied bail twice and remains in jail. His attorney, Erica Wolf, said in a statement, the Kim Porter memory is fake. It is also offensive, a shameless attempt to profit from tragedy. And that's fucked up. If it is fake like that, and they just trying to profit off the fact that they seen that Kim Porter died, you know what I mean? That's fucked up. Because it seemed like, like how they said, they said the book wasn't selling like that at first. But then once P. Diddy came up with all these allegations, now the, now the book's number number one seller. So that's probably why they're taking that shit down, because it's putting a lot of fucking false allegations and narratives out here. Allegedly, we're going to say allegedly. This, this, this is my opinion. I like the fabrication. I'm just saying, if the man, the man is so guilty, right? He, he got to be guilty of whatever something he's doing. But 
I just don't think he's that guilty where he the biggest like he's he's being labeled like uh, Osama bin Laden right now in the United States. Imagine this man come out. How's he gonna get any type of money, work, or opportunities, anything? Hopefully he ain't, hopefully he didn't do that to everybody else like they trying to make it look like you know what I'm saying like because if that's the case then his karma just came back on him. that's all. But uh, unlike the fabrication and the sickening mirror, it is an it is an established fact that Miss Porter died of natural causes. So they saying that she died from natural causes. May she rest in peace. Todd used the Fisodonum. I, I, I can't pronounce that. Fisodonum Jamal T. Menwell when publishing the title. He did not commit the removal Tuesday when contacted by the AP. So he didn't commit to removing it like he was supposed to on Tuesday. The mirror reached the number one spot on Amazon's best sellers list in September. And dipped down on the charts before Am Amazon eventually pulled it from the site. Damn. So it reached number one seller when Amazon pulled it from the chart. The Independent is the world's most free thinking news brand. Oh, no, nah, no, fuck. But yeah, this is the press conference from the other day. Uh, Diddy's lawsuits on the, uh, from Diddy when they was talking about the new the new 120 lawsuits, whatever that was filed against them. But I want to get into okay. the Art of Dialogue interview that he did with the author of Kim Porter's Tell All Book. Says he has a shocking Diddy tapes that will shut down the music industry in Hollywood and reveals he plans to give them to the federal government. Definitely want to see what he's talking about on this shit. Uh, the book alleges that Diddy kept a vault of tapes documenting his alleged sexual encounters. Was there any hard evidence that such a vault existed? Uh, the sources say there was a vault that existed, yes. And some of the tapes were flown out of the country on a private jet. That's from the sources directly, so I have to believe them. If she's angry, if she was abused, if she's fighting back, because we know through, and I'm going to reveal some of these other things that are on the drive that discuss why she was doing it and when, okay? My thing is, if this is such a big deal, why didn't y'all try to prosecute the man when these people, these victims, alleged victims, were still alive, like Biggie, Kim Porter, and all this allegedly? Like, why why come after them after they die and then try to use what they allegedly said? To y'all, or gave to somebody, passed to this, to pass to that, that ended up ended up in your hand. That now you saying that it's enough to uh, take down the Hollywood industry and the music industry and shit like that. Why didn't y'all come from then? That's what I'm trying to figure out. So you didn't. So these are other things that you didn't include in. Correct. In, 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 and why did you keep that? Correct. Out? Because I can't reveal everything at once. It's too shocking. If I was to release those tapes, the world would shut down. Okay. If I. Okay. So you think because if you released it. The world would have shut down, so you're releasing one bit at a time. So you wait till people start dying and release it all a little bit at a time, one by one. Nah, that's something they make a sense, but we're going to see what's going I on. I showed one of these tapes. So I'm telling you right now, the whole music industry and Hollywood, it would just grind down like this. They're all going to start pointing at each other like this, and it's going to be bad. We've already set it up. We have multiple attorneys. We know how to do it. It's not my first rodeo. I solved the greatest murder case in history. Oh, three wow. of them. I know. How so you saw. So you saw the greatest murder case in history. Three of them. One was that Tupac, Biggie, and uh, somebody. Who, who else was it? Pop Smoke, Nipsey Hussle. Who was it? How to do it? We're going to do it, but just going to come in pieces. And there's also ways we can, let's say, not censor it, but we can we can kind of soften it, right? Like the tape. The whole tape doesn't have to come out. All the tape. I don't have all the tapes. There's other people that have the tapes. I can't control them. We already know they're shopping in Hollywood. We have proof of other people telling us. We actually didn't have that one they showed. So there's multiple out there. Remember, this has been going on for 30 years. So I'm not the only one who has them. I think I have specific ones that no one has. But so, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be extremely shocking. We've got to be really just kind of one step at a time. If you're not the only one that has them, but you're the only one that's coming out trying to push forward with the issue to make it like some big ass deal, 
even if even if the man is guilty of all this, right? I still feel like he's innocent until proven guilty. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has the day in court. That's all I'm trying to say. You feel me? We we said we bashing and shaming the man like we actually seen the tape our damn self. You feel me? Just because a lot of people coming for, we have never seen nobody come forth the way they doing Diddy and make it seem like I never seen nobody turn a civil lawsuit into a criminal uh, a criminal uh, a criminal charge. You feel me? That he's pretty much facing. That's, that's all I'm saying. It just it just seems like a bunch of twists and turns. Like they just trying to distract us from something else. I'm, but so. you can confirm nor deny that what you claim to have um, that no one else has. Correct. Some of I would say this. Let's say let's say there's ten tapes, right? So this is a hypothetical. Yeah, hypothetically, there's ten tapes. There's a couple of those that no one has, but 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 the flash drive has. I can pretty much guarantee. And how how can you? Because if because if anybody has those, they're gonna go to jail. Mm. So somebody, how how you know Diddy ain't have them? Like, what do you mean somebody has them? Why you why you ain't go to jail for having them? That make that that's that's strange right there. How somebody else? How somebody else not supposed to have these tapes? How you how we know Mark Curry ain't got these tapes? You feel me? He, he liked to come, be in the comments talking about by his copy of the book. The way he coming at Diddy, it seemed like uh, for, he must know firsthand Diddy must did something to him, you feel me, allegedly. If they release what I believe they think they have or they want to release, they will they will most likely go to jail. That's why we're, and this is, the federal this government, is, so we're working with the federal government. Oh, you're currently we're, working yes. with the federal government? We, well, not like what you're saying. Not, no, 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 no. I want to be clear. I'm, I don't want to make we're any... We're going to give them to the federal government. Oh, so you're going to give oh, the yes. tapes to the federal government? So you haven't given them to the federal government yet? It's probably because it didn't, they, they didn't bite yet or you just wanted to show how big a situation it could blow up to? It seems like you're blowing it up for the right right portion. It just ain't making sense, man. I don't know. Shit crazy. And if I'm wrong, man, Diddy is this bad... Uh, Evil Grinch ass motherfucker that's just running around just greasing up baby oil on every fucking man he sees can't help himself. If he can't help himself like that, then he would he he would just be all on uh like we'd have been seeing a video out by now. You feel what I'm saying? Especially when R. Kelly tape would been released. Oh, yes. Okay. There's a claim that uh Kim Porter kept copies of Diddy's alleged sex tapes as leverage. What evidence do you have to support this narrative? The tapes. So how the fuck did you get them? If she kept them as levers and she got killed or died, whatever, from natural causes, how the fuck do you know that they, they was kept as levers? That shit ain't making no sense. He's talking about because of the tapes. You might have just stumbled across them because... Now, I ain't saying Diddy couldn't did something to some man and shit. He probably did do something to somebody, but not the way these people talk. It seemed like the people that he did something to or done something to his 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 family is coming back and trying to get him later, thirty years later type shit after they grew up. That's that's what it seems like. So you actually have tapes. I'm not gonna do fully comment, let's just say there's tapes that exist, yeah. Well, let's that are on let's let's ponder let's ponder around that. There's the investigators in the case that is now filed, yes, right, say that they're in possession of tapes. They can actually confirm that there are tapes sure. as well as baby oil as well as all of sure. the other things that yes. they found yeah and so with that we do know from that perspective that the da involving the case that diddy is now facing the federal government yes the, the da and the federal government yep. have tapes attorney general and so my question is um there's a claim that uh, porter kept copies of and this is in your book yes that she kept copies of diddy's alleged tapes as leverage yep. right and in making that, it would be assumed that you would, or the possession of those tapes, you've seen them, you have them, you know about them. Um, and like I said, what evidence do you have to support the narrative? Yes, there are tapes that exist. Okay. Uh, the so what evidence do you have to support the narrative of the tapes, not... 
fact that there are tapes that is just, he could have just been recording his freaky get it, get along get or like a lot of people about it. So you mean to tell me nobody can't even record a sexual tape and they are doing porno? Motherfucker just might might be recording having sex with him and his girl. So shit crazy. Book alleges that Diddy kept a vault of tapes. That now, I ain't saying you're supposed to record people against their will. Now that's that, that's just ridiculous. But this shit right here, shit crazy. Documenting his alleged sexual encounters. Was there any hard evidence that such a vault existed? Uh, the sources say there was a vault that existed, yes. And some of the tapes were flown out of the country on a private jet. Mm. That's from the sources direct. Some of the tapes were flown out the country on a private jet. Why the fuck weren't they blown up and destructed? Why are motherfuckers trying to keep copies of these tapes? You don't need that many copies of a fucking tape if you're going. Even if Diddy had the tapes, he don't need that many goddamn copies. He just need a place where he could secure these tapes. A couple copies if he had to. But different copies flowing out the country. What, they getting a freak going across the world? Shit crazy. So I have to believe them. If she's angry, if she was abused, if she's fighting back, because we know through, and I'm going to reveal some of these other things that are on the drive that discuss why she was doing it and when. Okay? So you didn't, want, these are other things that you didn't include in and in, 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 in why did you keep that correct. out? Correct, because I can't reveal everything at once. It's too shocking. If I was to release those tapes, the world would shut down. Okay, If I showed one of these tapes, I'm so telling the, you right now, mm -hmm. the whole music industry and Hollywood, it would just grind down like this. So he's saying if he was to release on them tapes, the whole music industry in Hollywood would shut down like that. Do y'all feel like he's telling the truth or what? What's going on? Let's read with Mark. Said he saw three deaths. What's his name? Chris Todd. That is Chris Todd. Okay. That's the author. How we know Chris Todd ain't make up all this shit and he's just watching shit go down like this? Diddy next album should be No Way Out Part Two. What is his real name? Uh, when did his when did this page turn into nonstop Diddy case covers? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, God damn. That's all, but it seems like that's all we could put out to get views. Everything else I put out, motherfuckers don't want to even hit the like, don't want to run it up. But I guarantee you, this Diddy should uh, get views, though. Is this same book just stripped from Amazon? Because motherfuckers would love to see you bash your own kind. And your own kind be there to watch it. This case be feeling more and more like a boondocks episode every day. This, this thing is turning into a circus. It definitely is. This and the YSL case. Mans can't even sit still. You know, you know you're on something. You feel me? You know you're on something. It's crazy. But yeah, let's let let's hear what they talk about with the 120 uh new uh joints. When I agreed to pursue this, I expected as much. This isn't my first rodeo. But victims who step forward to have. To have their voices heard should not be subjected to that kind of conduct. They should not be targeted. I want to say this and I want to be clear about it. Although we are vetting each call as stringently as we can, I oh, always start the with the mindset dude. that I believe. Okay, so it seems like he's going for Okay, I get what he's saying. I believe victims. He probably put this shit out just I, so just so we, like just so it can be more more believable and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. We got to pay attention more to what, what, what we're being told and be able to distinguish 
what's wrong and what's real and what's right. Like, just because it's going to get us views don't mean we have to put it up there and sell out for nothing. Like I said on my on my community wall, you stand for something or stand for nothing, fuck the clout. You know what I mean? If people going to support me, they're going to support me. I ain't. I don't want no fake support. If you're going to come to support me, always be there to support me. Don't don't give me that fake ass shit. Come when the fuck you feel like and all this shit or worried about if somebody says this, said that. Because if I'm supporting somebody, I don't care who the fuck sees, how they see, what they do. None of that. I'm there for support. You know what I mean? And that's what I gave a lot of you motherfuckers. You feel me? And I don't see, I don't see the, I don't see the shit in return. But it's all good though, you know what I mean? It shouldn't take. I've been in the game what a year now. It shouldn't take this long for me to get no viral videos. It just seemed like people were just hating because you ain't part of this, you ain't part of that. Like I ain't never know when you come on YouTube, you gotta be a part of something. That's where we need to start. Motherfuckers talking about all this other weird ass shit. We need, to, we need to start with all this, uh, all this fake. Uh, Gang banging on YouTube. Understand the tremendous see, courage it takes to step forward. Forcing people to pick a side or something. So if you're watching this, please hear Word. me. But yeah, in the meantime, between there, time, make sure y'all get them likes and share the victims, video and uh, support the channel. You are not alone. And keep rocking with Trenches Politics TV. The only politics. There is a great the strength in all numbers. Y'all. Salute one. I'm out. You can also, seek redress. Drop the comments. Let me know what y'all think. You can you know what obtain justice. About the situation. You we can saying? help you, and we will help you. Y'all feel like the dude is telling the truth for Ken Porter? That being said, as stated, we're like vetting every call that we receive. Ken Porter would just wanted it to We've be had to turn away some. was the truth, you feel me? For each, so far we ask like, for she collaboration. Didn't, she didn't say nothing about this for when she each, was alive. For each, we ask for the identity of witnesses. Make it a big thing. We also have collected bring it pictures, out when she was alive. videos, texts. That was texts. his wife and his own kids. Her own kids are saying We check venues. We check dates. What do y'all think about that? Let me know what you think. We want to corroborate that the claims being made have legitimacy and merit. We have on staff now a former detective from the...